it's so funny that a lot of men just live with the impression that women are living their lives. So funny Let's that my correct people, our blessing CEO has come out to explain once again why Yol Edoche is having this kind of attitude that he has towards me. You all know that we all believe that by now Yol Edoche would have apologized to his wife, me, but he never did that. Yes, before I continue in this gist. Welcome to Inspiration Just with Dora. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this wonderful channel where we discuss life issues and concerns us in our society. Yes, so my people, this is Yole Doche. Before I allow you to watch that her blessing CEO and her advice to me, Edoche, and every other woman there, let me remind you that you know this Yole Doche, the kind of character he has been exhibiting since all this marriage saga, our uh, second wife started. We have seen him to be a very arrogant and prosper, uh, pompous person so 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 um unrepentant okay towards his wife me uh, according to blessing ceo time in the time past men believe that women live their life just to please men all women model their lives what they put on their body the way they are the way their uh, um you know body stature and everything they just do it just to please men but unfortunately according to her things have changed in this era where we live in the people she termed modern women they have woken to this reality there's a there's a change of um there's a paradigm shift now women no longer you know, do things to be happy in order to please men. They no longer do things they do in order to please men. But a lot of women, according to her, are still living in that old time mentality. Okay. But unfortunately, for your Edoche, May has broken out. She is no more living in that mentality that you must be. Okay. Living your life. If you're putting on a nice clothes, it is because there is a man you want to impress. Or if you're you know, having a good hair, anything, it is just about impressing a man. No, unfortunately for Yole Duche, because according to this blessing CEO, Yole Duche belongs to that category of men who believe that women can't be happy. They cannot feel like, uh, feel fulfilled if they don't have a man around them. But unfortunately, these days we, have, we can see that a, women, a lot of women have lived to achieve their goals without even having a man okay around them yes because if it's not working if you don't appreciate them with all the gifts god has given them you don't appreciate them what do you want them to do so a lot of men like your edochi won't behave the way they behave believing that anytime they wake up they can always go back and say sorry to the woman and the woman will not have any option than to you know continue because according to that old mentality you cannot do without a man so that's what blessings CEO is advising, you know, bringing out here so that if you're a man, someone like Yol Edoche, you don't lose your woman because of that old mentality. You need to understand that these days, okay, women have woken to that reality that they can actually live their lives, fulfill purpose if their marriage does not work. Yes, it is good that a woman will get married and get fulfilled like a woman if you're not in the okay in the convent yes but whereby it is not working whereby a lot of men are not responsible according to uh, blessing ceo a lot of men are not responsible they are not mature women babysit them okay in the name of marriage okay and worship them and these women get their self-esteem subdued get their they, get themselves into captivity in the name of living a life that will please a woman let me allow you to watch and hear from blessing ceo by yourself and at, at the end of this video please don't forget to um, subscribe to this channel leave your comments in the comment section do you actually agree with her or not let me let us continue the conversation in the comment section thank you so much i'll see you again Hi. A lot of men just live with the impression that women are living their lives for them. It actually makes me laugh when you make a move, you do something beautiful for yourself. You see a lot of ignorant men saying things like, you did it for a man, all these are for men. Anyway, I just want to do a gentle reminder to a lot of men out there that women are now woke.
<laughs> we now do a lot of things for ourselves. Yes. And I see a lot of men are hot. Sometimes you are so pained because you've seen that women are so woke to the point that they now want to live a happy life. They no longer want to build their lives around men who will use and who will dump them. Let me tell you something. I know a lot of men do not like the new generation women because we are smart. And a lot of them tend to say that is why you are single. Oh, if we are single, you are also single. <laughs> now, the truth about it is this beautiful awareness is going to make a lot of irresponsible men sit up. It's because of this babysitting. A lot of women actually babysit men, pamper them in the back. Just because society says it's a man's world. So some men have used that opportunity to misbehave, become so irresponsible, having a perception that the woman will always be there, sitting down and waiting for him. Anytime he finishes misbehaving, the woman will always be there for him. I'm so sorry you're going to do this. That's why a lot of men are rebelling. When they see outspoken confident women like us they are upset you hear them saying things like you are influencing our young girls blessing that's because they are upset that women are now woke to understanding their value to understanding their power their importance in the society so if you're that beautiful woman out there it's old school to be living your life for a man live your life a man will come in fact it is the beautiful life that you're living for yourself that will attract a man the earlier you begin to understand that men are coming for you, the better for you. You will take care of you. Anyways, I say let me give my women heads up and tell you that if you're that beautiful woman taking care of yourself, you know, wearing a good hair, doing a nice makeup, dressing up and looking good for yourself, I just want to give you a thumbs up. I just want to tell you, say you're fine. You need to try. Keep it up. Okay? Keep looking beautiful. Keep working hard. There is more to life than just one man. There is more to life than one relationship or one marriage. Build yourself. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Even the Bible talk and build yourself. All these noisemakers will come. So long as you are successful, so long as you are growing, the only problem you are going to be having is choice. In fact, until you select, select. In fact, your problem will be confusion. Because you are going to see men, different men, and you will be confused. Your prayer point is not be gone. Show me the man.